Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Amber, and this is a channel about plus size beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. Today we have part two of the Shein haul. You can find part one up here. Um, that's where we dived into jackets and leisure and lounge. Super great items in there. Don't want to miss it. So go and find it, but probably after this. Watch this one first. <laughs> So today, we're continuing our Shein haul with dresses and tops, and actually a few of these will touch in on more spring forward type of styling. So you don't want to miss that as you're starting to think of warmer weather as it's snowing outside of my window right now. <laughs> as a reminder, here are my measurements. I am 5'6", and I have pretty straight body type from the front, but curvy from the side. So Shein is a fast fashion, China-based retailer. The prices are super affordable, um, but sometimes the quality of the fabric isn't as luxe as one would hope. Um, but with that being said, if you're looking for trend, then this is a great place to go. And I was actually super excited with how many plus size items actually played into trends, like the literal trend and not watered down. So that was, that's how, that's how I ended up with two hauls, um, <laughs> cause I just bought so much stuff. So um, the first haul was super fun, lots of really great pieces and fingers crossed that this one will be as well. My one tip is to make sure each item that you choose, you kind of hover over the size and it'll tell you what measurements accommodate that size. So during this haul, you might have me calling out, oh, it's a 3X, a 4X, a 5X, but that's just based on their sizing of their company. So like I said in an earlier video, sizing's kind of arbitrary. Just buy what fits. And then if you really want to, just cut those tags out. But at least you know that it'll fit, it'll feel good, and you'll look your best. So first up, I have this really pretty fit and flare type of dress. It's very like Reformation vibe, really femme. Um, it fits really well in all places except for right here. Smack dab at this waist. It is pulling at the button a little bit. So this is, this one is a 4X. They don't have any sizes up on their site. So not for me, but really pretty if maybe you're a little bit smaller than your waist, um, but you share the other measurements. But it has a functional button front and then a short sleeve with a little elastic ruching and then a v-neck. It's midi length and it's got a really pretty swingy sweep to it actually. It's really pretty. This is a poly fabric and it's got a little floral ditzy. Um, it's like a rust color. I don't know. I think it's really pretty. Next, I have on this floral printed baby doll mini dress. It's got a long sleeve with the flounce, a high neck with buttons, and a little ruffle. And then it has a waist seam that is loose and flowy. I got it in a 4X and it's 100% polyester. The sleeve is tight. Yep, the bicep is definitely too tight. But beyond that, the body fits really well. I actually love how much sweep there is in this skirt. It's like a little party dress. Um, <laughs> this print, however, this print would be a Green Bay Packer fan's dream. And as a girl who grew up in Wisconsin, yep, I could see wearing this to a Packer party. <laughs> Wait, it's like a hybrid of like Marie Antoinette's tea party and a Packer party. So if I was going to a tea party on football Sunday when the Packers were playing, this is what I would be wearing. <laughs> Next I have on a long sleeve tiered dress. It's made out of 100% rayon and it's midi length. It does have a really deep neck, so I do have a tank underneath it. I got it in a 4X, but actually it's really, like a lot of detail on here for the price. Like you get two sets of trim right on the, the arm. And like for somebody who's got a larger arm, it's not tight or anything. It still accommodates really well. 
You also get two sets of trim on the bodice. And then you get really full tiers at the bottom. Like once again, the sweep is really big. And then also a little ruffle detail at the bottom one too. Really cute. Here, let me do this for you. <laughs> really full sweep. Uh, it's got like a tan color ground and then a floral paisley print on there. I don't know, I think it's really pretty. It's very boho vibes. All you need is like a big straw hat, maybe some cowboy boots or something. You guys, I'm kind of obsessed with this next one. So it's a two-piece set. So you've got the smocked little, I guess it's a bra top. I was gonna say crop top, but it's pretty little. Um, as well as a floaty button front skirt. The buttons on the skirt are non-functional, so you just get this little slit, um, probably about knee length. And it's also got smocking on the waist here too. Like I said, love this so much. The print and pattern, the color is so pretty. Loving greens right now, and it's got this little scattered dot print. It's also got some smocking, or elastic rather, on the straps here. Okay, so my beef with it, for me and my long torso, is usually I'd wear skirts lower, but I also <laughs> don't wanna show maybe as much torso. Um, Cause yeah, that would be a lot and probably not as flattering. So I like the idea of the little sliver, but I am wearing my skirt up, if you can see from the side, a little higher than I probably normally would. <sighs> because of that, I wish that the top was just a little bit longer. Like if it was here, then I could just move this down a little bit and it would still kind of be that meet and greet sort of length. I'm half tempted to buy another set and have somebody make me a longer version of this top because it's so cute. You guys might all know how I feel about smocking already. Um, <laughs> so anything with smocking wins my heart. Um, but yeah, I love it. I love how flowy the skirt is. I would prefer if the fabric was actually a rayon instead of a poly, but I'm okay with the poly. Um, I did get this in a 4X and I love it. There's more colors. I think there's a navy dot as well as a burgundy dot. So go scoop one up. These are really cute. I guess something else you could do if you don't want to show any skin is just bring this up to the top and then it kind of turns into this dress instead, which is still really cute. Let's move on to some Shein tops. So I'm gonna match all of these back to just denim that I own already. Um, they're Avon Viv High Rise Skinny. I'll link them down below. Great fit. Um, the first top I have is a cropped little button down shirt. It's a short sleeve. Um, it's got button front, a collar. It's in a poly cotton blend. And it's got little slits on the side. And like I said, it's cropped. I think it's cute. I think the green color's cute. I think for me and the length of my torso, it's maybe a little bit too short. Um, and then the fabric has a little bit of a interesting feel to it. It almost feels like there's a residue or something on there. Um, but otherwise, I don't know, it fits pretty well. Like. If you guys watched my Madewell videos where I tried on similar button down shirts, all of their sleeves were so tight. So I really appreciate that this actually gives me a little bit of room in the arm. I did get this in a 4X. And yeah, I think it's really pretty otherwise, just maybe a little bit too short for my personal taste. But if you're shorter than me or a shorter torso, I think that this is a good option. Next I got this Bohemian tie front, little crop ruffle blousey, jackety hybrid thing. <laughs> it's got a long full sleeve, this v-neck with a tie, and then elastic at the waist that creates this little ruffle. Um, it's in poly, I got a 4X, and it's like a brown paisley print. I think it's really cute, but I don't know if it's for me. Um, once again, they could have taken out a little bit more of the elastic at the bottom of the sleeve to kind of 
let it stabilize on the wrist and create that puff. But like right now as it is, it's easy, easily sliding off of my hand. Next I have on this little Milk Maid peplum top. I got it in a 4X. It is in 100% poly. It's got this scooped neckline with elastic all around it, this more squared off neck. And then it's got two rows of elastic, um, one under the bust and then one at the waist as well. So a couple things for me personally. First, I'll just call out, there's too much elastic at the sleeve, so they could take some of that out because right now it's, it's not even grabbing onto the wrist. That's a common theme that I've been finding with Shein, so it's probably gonna be consistent throughout the whole try-on. The other thing is I have a pretty broad shoulder um, and pretty squared off. A lot of women tend to have more sloped, which means that these would fall off even more. So if I'm finding that this seems a little bit wide on my shoulder, then it's probably worth bringing it in a little bit. Um, I am wearing a tank top underneath here because it is pretty low on me as well. But I do feel like the bodice up here fits really well. Um, and I just wish that there was, like for the amount of stretch up here, I wish there was more at the waist because I feel like the amount of stretch at the waist is flattening out this ruffle. So if they added more sweep, then it could still have more coning, you know, more of that, that flow. Um, also for me, the length is just kind of comedically short. So I feel like once again, if you're shorter than me or have a shorter torso, then this could be really cute on you. But for me, it's a no. Next up, we're taking a trip straight to summer. So this is a little baby doll top. It's got a smocked upper. And then in the back, it's got this little adjustable tie detail and adjustable straps as well. It is in a poly span and then it's in this little yellow, can I get it up there? Yellow floral print. It's actually the back side, but having a hard time showing you. So I did get it in a 5X and I should have sized down. I feel like there's a lot of extra here on the bodice as well as down here. I did try to take some of that out by tying it tighter in the back, but it doesn't really seem to affect that too much. Um, but yeah, really cute. And I am wearing a tank top behind it because it would show my bra, which I'll have to play around with that. Maybe it's not a big deal because it, it actually does tie over the bra, um, but you would be able to see it a little bit. So whatever your comfort level is with that. But yeah, I think this is really cute and easy and yellow and springy and all the good things. The next top I have is this Sir Please with the ruffle. And then it's got the whole smocked bottom here. And actually the smocking stops here and here as well as the same in the back. So there's this section without smocking and that's where the two ties, they're adjustable. Um, they come and you can tie those together. I think this is so cute. I got it in a 5X and it's 100% poly um, and it's this like burgundy red color with a little polka dot pattern on it. This is really cute. Obviously this is low cut, so I have a tank underneath it, but you could choose choose your own adventure and decide. And it's this little meet and greet length, so it, it hits the top of your pants. Oh, I think this is so cute. And also, I think you could probably, because it's a v-neck in the back, you could probably rotate it. Let's rotate it and see what happens. Okay, so I rotated it, so now it's a v-neck in the front. If you don't want to worry about wearing a tank top or exposing too much with the crossover in the front, you can do just the v-neck in the front. And now there's a pretty little crossover detail in the back. Really cute. I think this is like one of my favorite new spring tops. Ooh, she's cute. So I have a square neck baby doll with smocking and it's got a little peplum and then the puffed sleeve with elastic and a little flounce. Um, it's, I got it in a 4X and it's 100% poly and I don't love the fabric but I really kind of like the silhouette. Like I think she's really cute. She's got a square neck in the front and the back and it is a pretty wide square neck. 
Um, I think for me, it'll stay up, but if you have narrow shoulders, this might be a little bit trickier. There is something that you can do. You could always get some black fabric that's similar or choose to get you know, a trim that is distinctively different and you can have them connect. So let's say this is the back neck. You can have somebody, yourself or somebody, connect it from here to here in two strips and then you would tie it in the back. So if it connected across the back, then that would help stabilize the shoulders and hold them in place. But yeah, I really like this. This is cute. Really cute. So next up I have this t-shirt. It is in a 5X and it is cotton span. And it's got a little ruffle detail at the shoulder. Um, it is a black and white stripe with a little embroidered heart right here. So cute. Oh my gosh, really cute, easy, comfortable. Um, you can wear it out like this. You can do a little French tuck. This will be really cute with like shorts in the summer. Yeah. So next up I have a very extra top. It is orange, as you can see. Um, it is a baby doll with this curved detail here, puff sleeve. Um, there's a tie detail at the back neck. And it is in a 4X orange, like I said. The fabric is 100% poly, but it's like got this crinkly, is that picking up on the screen? Crinkly texture. <laughs> I feel like equal parts of me like it as much as equal parts of me think it looks like a clown. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of these very like, they're like the zoom tops, you know? They're like really extra and big and statement pieces. And I think that side of me that likes that is digging this, but then the reality is like, where are you wearing this, Amber? Like, <laughs> where are you going in this thing? Um, yeah, I don't know, what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on this one? <laughs> Share down below. <laughs> so I thought I would try on a couple bodysuits for you guys. This first one is a rayon span. It is a 4X and it is black with this mesh flocked dot upper detail. <sighs> okay, in all honesty, bodysuits and me have issues. Like I said, I have a long torso, so a lot of times it just won't be enough length for me. And <laughs> um, when I was trying to put this one on, I realized, you know, usually you can like, maybe step in to the top of it and then just slide it on. With this one, you can't step into it because the neck is so high. So you literally have to try to fasten it while it's on you. And not only do I have a long torso that makes that difficult, I also have short arms. And then when you add in like a booty, when you add on a booty, there's no way <laughs> that the two hands are going to connect underneath. So it's currently just tucked in, but it is really stretchy. I feel like if you've got longer arms than me and you're able to do that, this is a really cute, like going out with the girls, date night, zoom top type of thing. Um, I might keep it and just wear it tucked in because it does stay tucked in really nice and it is really cute, but that was the issue that I was having with the bodysuit. But yeah, otherwise, love the puff sleeve, love the high neck. Really comfortable, cute. All right, last up in my Shein haul is this bodysuit, and because it has a wide enough neck, I was able to pull it up on myself. So yes, I would say that their bodysuits have a good amount of stretch and length and do accommodate different lengths of torso. Um, this one is a 4X, it is a cotton poly. It's really stretchy, it's actually soft. It's got like this little brush suede feel to it. And then it's got the elastic in the neckline. It goes all the way down to the front and then a bow. And there are seams underneath here. Kind of give that milkmaid sort of vibe. Um, and it's in like this light pink blush. And here is the outfit. I feel like 
This one's really cute and easy. Pretty femme. All the good things. Woo! That wraps up our Shein haul two-parter series. <laughs> um, I had a lot of fun with this. Definitely learned about a lot about Shein and their product. And I'll be looking for more. I mean, they've got a lot of plus size, trend forward items. So I'm a fan. Thank you all for taking this journey with me. And as always, please comment, like, subscribe, share, and come back for more. See you next time.